M0FXB, welcome to my unboxing of the ICOM IC705 HF, VHF, UHF, all mode transceiver with D-Star, Bluetooth, GPS and so much more. And it has that beautiful, lovely waterfall screen that you can see on the box there and the whole imagery where they've gone, let's be active and produce this backpack. Just the box alone was impressive. Look at that with the the backpack and the antenna and the and the user there just chatting away on the on the on the included small speaker microphone. So we'll just look around the box originally, or initially, do I mean? Now it does have the Icon Fifty One style battery, and it will fit the Icon Fifty Two as well with the 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 newer range are now coming out with the BP307 which is the you know the higher capacity battery and just slots in the back otherwise it comes with a DC power jack as well and it has a micro USB connector in the side there is a modification where you can change the connector for a USB C there's a there's a, a company in the USA that are making them now and you just read read down through here HF all band all modes RF direct sampling spectrum scope which is Excellent. I've got the 7610 and this spectrum scope feels just as good. It's a very compact lightweight design It has that sort of tripod stand underneath and it says it here Wireless LAN, Bluetooth, GPS, SD card slot so you can bring in your repeaters using the DR mode D-Star and it works perfect Also works with the RSBA1 software and you can even use one of these VFOs when you're using the software You can use one of these as well when you're using the RSBA1 software. So just the box itself is impressive. Uh, you know, uh, of course the radio, you know, we, we could just talk about the whole radio, looking at just this photograph. Everything is there, your filters, they work exactly the same as the 7300. No, it's not a 100 watt radio. I believe it's a 10 watt radio with the DC connected five volt with five volt with just the battery VFOs memories scanning and uh, endless um terminal mode you know preamp noise blank and noise reduction the time you tap the the gps we'll show you in a minute and it shows you the gps satellites and so on and so on and you can uh, it does a lovely looking audio scope as well so let's get the box open i think i've showed you enough there yes you can inter interface this you know ws jtx fta all these different digital modes it's ready to go out of the box you just collect the micro USB doozy with the PA7 LIM uh, Blue DV software, plug it in, you don't even need a hotspot. Uh, I know that the new Kenwood D75 has got the same ability as well. And the Icon 52 really does complement this radio as well. And as we unbox, we'll just keep that in the background there, just keeping an eye on us. Again, another one of my favorite radios. So let's take the lid off. So it's a very compact unit. Comes with the usual ICOM warranty. ICOM's equipment, and I have at the moment the 7610 and the ICOM 52 and some of the older sets as well. It's just outstanding quality and they're so professional in, in their dealings with, with everyone. So yes, you get the, uh, that's my UPS delivery in there. A big selection of manuals. Are they different? Yeah, all different languages. all there now it's interesting how they decided to include a speaker microphone but it all fits with the whole backpacking thing you know i'm sure you can buy a, a non a non-speaker microphone if you want but perfectly packaged you know no damage at all and double boxed as it should be so we'll just show you the microphone and the battery first now the interesting thing about the microphone, which is a, a very nice microphone to use and sounds fine in my opinion, you've got up and down A and B and these are programmable buttons as well and this little clip here. And the way they did this so that you've got two separate pins, 3.5 jack, 2.5 and when, if you plug both of them in it becomes a speaker microphone, if you don't then the, micro, the speaker in the, in the radio is used, which sounds fine. Of course, it's a small speaker, but it still sounds very good. And then the, the now included BP307 battery, which does last for a very long time. You can see the specifications there. And it, it's an excellent battery. I'm very pleased with that battery. And then you get your couple of little items here, connectors and things. I believe that 
helps that this little metal thing helps with the the microphone being yanked too much can't see anything in that corner so let's take out the main main unit now it does say lift it from the i saw a little instruction there lift from the right if you're facing that way with the box facing you you lift from the right so let's just move the box out the way a second take this out of the packaging here like so it's it's amazing how they've managed to pack all of this you know everything that this radio does into this small package so you've got menu function scope quick exit power dr mode looks like your your filters there multi-function button and now with some of the new features they've got the digital monitor mode uh, where it connects to this radio to to a repeater or a reflector should i say via the internet and at the same time via rf so that's it's almost like dual receive of reflectors and we'll show you that in a sec so otherwise on the side you've got it's where your uh have a look now between i just need to check what those connectors are the bottom one oh they are marked there you go you can see that hopefully let's see if we can tune that a bit better there you go send alc tuner kia and micro usb Pretty sure I put one in there. Uh, sorry, that's the other side, yeah. DC input there. And the DC cable's in the box. It's actually the same as the X6100 size. Micro USB, like I said, there is an, a, a, a board that you can buy for about £70 that swaps that board for USB-C now. Uh, but it's not made by Icon, so... Uh, then you've got your BNC connector, lots of adapters for that. Speaker mic goes underneath here. Earth and or ground, should I say, and then SD card slot, and that's very useful. You can back up, you can do the firmware, and the firmware on this is really easy to do. Putting the battery in, nice and straightforward. Let's get the battery in there. Let's grab your and it's so nice that you can just take this out of your icon 52 and just pop it in here or 51 try and get it the right way around it goes like so and you can actually charge this uh, via the micro usb as well so it's a real so there's a real weight to it so let's just come down a bit lower let's turn this device on Icom, it's got the firmware 1.32. Beautiful, even behind the shield, the screen looks beautiful. We'll just get the scope on and we'll connect an antenna. So we'll go menu scope, get the scope on. Let's grab a BNC antenna. I've got myself a little adapter here BNC to 239. Put that in it's just a it's actually a disc cone antenna that i use for my scanner believe it or not right let's just turn this here bnc's on see the way it's you know that connector is not the best connector but it's good enough just to test things out obviously that's not a hf antenna that's a a two meter antenna so we just go to two meters just tap the screen look uh, 144 now let's do the the magical unveiling of the of this device this you know the cover peel that off beautiful look how lovely that is it's literally to die for that screen and so is the 7610 and so is the 7300 they're they're very beautiful radios let's see if we can get my hubnet node a minute we'll tap the screen and we're on 434550 my node turn it up volume here just turn when you first turn you get the volume if you press this you get rf gain tap beneath you get squelch
isn't that interesting? The filters even work on FM. You can hear that station. That's an analog station. It's not DR. To have DR, you have to hold down the di this button here, and that gets you. There's no repeaters in. I need to load the repeaters up uh, to make this work. Let's turn on, we'll tap the menu. You've got the audio scope as well. Press expand. We'll probably show that better. We'll put my HF antenna on, then we'll show you that. The preamp is showing that it's on there. So let's go through the buttons. Vox, DR mode. There's your, your filters there. Again, we'll have to show you that in HF. Your multifunction knob. See the monitor? Mic gain, RF power, there's different functions that you see when you're in DR mode. It's not going to let me do DR mode until we load that up, which we will. XFC, memory pad, scanning functions. Go menu. There's all your meters. Turn it down a bit. So you can have the meters showing. What else? Have a look here. SWR meter, or graph, the way they do it. Recording, memory, what else? Voice record. I know it records voice and you can record CW and send it. Quick menu here for quick access. Menu, scope. Let's have a look at those bands. 1.8 to 430. Look at this. One touch air band, so we go to an air band frequency, like uh, let's look, one, one, let me think now, 133850 is normally quite active. Uh, 133, in my area anyway, 850. It's not the best antenna for it. You can change all the cut, all the, they're not receiving much at all there, which is such a shame. AM, 133850, so yeah, nothing there. Tap the screen there, you, you can change the memory. There's no memories in this at all. I have got an SD card that I can load up. This radio talks to you. Let's just go out of this function. Menu, and you've got number two menu, that's your DV gateway, D, what's this one here? Again, we need an SD card for that. DTMF, GPS, I wonder if we've got a deep GPS lock. See up here, you tap that, and if you've got a lock, all these satellites will light up. Bluetooth, go menu, set, you've got massive set menu on this. Tone control, big function menu there. Just tap it. The VFO just is just lovely. Just slides around lovely. My station, you've got to get your call sign in for D Star. D V set. The new DV, DV repeater monitor. You you load again you load something. Connectors all for all your your you know, interfacing with other items, with other programs, display. You can change all of the all of the colours of the Waterfall, just hold down EXP and you can start to change the colors how you like them. I'll load up my SD card in a minute. Speed, reflector of the waterfall, the sensitivity of that. Let's grab my HF antenna a second. Let's tap 7 megs. See if anyone's about. Well, there's no tuner in this, but you can get tuners at a very low price now. So you're not too lucky with the activity. It's a shame, isn't it? Different filters. You can hold your finger on there. Tap the battery, see the battery. Tap the multi button here. RF power. Mic gain comp monitor. Two menus here, so you've got the span. 100K. 
and just to go through, you can hold it, you've got center fix, tap the frequency, hold your finger on the frequency, you get your step, signal meter there, SWR, ALC, comp, power, tap the LSB, choose your mode, of course it does all data modes. You can set your edge, speed of the waterfall, RF gains up at the moment. Right, well hopefully I haven't missed anything. And yes, you can plug in an external speaker, you can buy a, you know, the, the ICOM 7, is it 7? something is it 05 tuner for it I've got a little ATU 100 that I got and it works great on this no problem at all got the time showing there Bluetooth we go set Let's look for blue Bluetooth there turn that on just tap it and you can search pairing and connect Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi works and you'd be surprised how many different functions these days will uh, work well with Wi-Fi access mode SD card settings for loading firmware and the screen quality and I've used the 7300 and the 7610 and this screen quality is perfect literally perfect GPS settings there Oh yeah, you can send photographs, forgot about that, and you can do that with the 70, with the 52, without any software. It will, they could send it to people on a reflector, no problem at all, you just go menu, picture, see the same screen on both, and you can send photographs on reflectors or, you know, to individual users, that works really well. Definitely try out Doozy, you put your micro USB cable in, connect to a program called Doozy, and you can start going on all the reflectors, XLF, XRF, DCS, just with a micro USB cable. And that just standard cable will work. Let's have a look what else we've got. GPS, that's your DV memory, repeater list. Let's just load up my SD card. Um, have I got one in there? I can't remember if I've got one in there, actually. Probably not. That's okay. We can. It's not hard to... To add, a, you know, add your, your your repeater list. You just load it from dstar.org. Load up your repeater list. Add your hotspot, and away you go. My hotspot. Let's go menu. If I, if I can add it manually, just go tap the frequency four three four. My hotspot is four three three five five zero. And if you want to just do it via See if there's any activity. No, fourth, no, no one, no one about on my hotspot menu. Let's see, that's what we didn't show you. Let's go back to HF and show you the audio scope. There's your audio, and this is the same as the 7300. Exactly the same screen, same size, everything. So that's it. I think it's it's. it's in my opinion, the best radio out there. If they added a module stuck on the back of this that gave it an extra 50 watts, let's say, and a built-in tuner, you, you literally couldn't have a better radio. And I think that's what Yesu have to compete with if they bring out the new Yesu 818, you know, radio 819, whatever they're going to call it. They need to be in this league, um, in my opinion. So I know I'm sure I've missed many items. We've got attenuation there. It's all showing up on the screen. Just trying to think. I don't want to miss anything out. Hold that down. Pad, exit, menu. So let's go to the function menu. Ah, oh, we didn't show that. So we got the preamp AGC, notch, noise reduction, split mode, yes. You can access your six meter repeaters, no problem. Money, notch, preamp, menu two. Duplex for your shifts. Spaces there for more items. NR. And then when you do select 
noise reduction if we go menu function menu one and R. I think we can adjust that up here can we? I'm sure we can um, hmm, trying to think about noise reduction adjustments function let's hold my finger on it there you go like so we'll do noise blanker as well there it is there of course CW on this will be excellent in all audio reports receive and transmit on this device will be amazing you can buy carry handles it's quite a brick you know it's quite a brick you wouldn't want to drop it so I, you know, it's recommended really to to get some protection for it but thanks for watching my unboxing 2024 virtually of the amazing icom ic705 thanks for watching please remember to like and subscribe 73 all the best